All right, so we've got our busting butt here. We're gonna do some trimming and walk you through a couple things. So first off, obviously, like this flappy dude here, we're gonna get rid of him. Um, we've got some big fat through here that's kind of lipped up like that. We're gonna trim that off as well. And then we'll show you how to take care of the back um, after that, okay? So first, again, we're just gonna get rid of these little loose guys. Kind of carving through there, clean it up. Again, as much of these little, uh, just kind of tabs that we can, so we have a nice smooth piece. Shear that off right there. You can kind of run your finger through here. Get some of this loose. See how that's kind of again tabby, tabby and flabby. Get rid of that as well. pretty good through here. Okay, we can kind of clean some of that up. Okay, then we're going to come to the back side here. We're going to look at this fat cap. And what we've got is a pretty thick piece through here. So we're going to kind of trim some of this off here. And then we're going to trim off some of this, just get it nice and smooth. Okay, so we're going to go slow. We're just going to come right through there, just like that. Again, just kind of getting this thinner, thinner than it is currently. And getting rid of any edges too. All right. slivers see All right. so again that's super easy and I like it like that. We're doing pulled pork, so it's not super important that it looks super great, honestly. Come through here. There we go. Okay. Looking pretty good. All right, this one's ready. All right, we've got a pork butt here. We're gonna start by trimming this up. So what I tend to like to do is just kind of run my hand over the top and anything that kind of just sticks up, I'm gonna cut off. You see, there's always kind of just some loose stuff somewhere. It's gonna be different on every piece of meat that you encounter, okay? Uh, but you're gonna find that there are tendencies. So what I mean by tendencies are, tends to be some through here, um, right above what is often referred to as the money muscle. Uh, there tends to be some back here uh, around kind of this turn, uh, like some loose stuff. You can see there's just some stuff that just needs to go because all it's going to do is crisp up and you're not going to be able to eat it. And then kind of back here on the back side as well around the bone. Okay, so the bone's right through here, uh, that kind of blade like bone. And then there's going to tend to be just kind of off the back side of that, maybe a one or two little tabs that you're going to want to get rid of as well. There's also typically a big ridge right through here okay and what you want to do is maybe sometimes you get down in there and there's this flap here I like to cut that out now that's all that's up to every, you know that that's up to you uh, but I like to cut that out just to get down in there uh, in that ridge okay so we're gonna start 
Again, flipping it around here, we're gonna start with just the easy guys. Coming across here, just like this, cleaning that up. Okay, and then there's a little thing of fat right through here as well that I'm just gonna kinda clean it off. If you watch some people's pork videos, like competition videos, they're gonna get pretty aggressive right here around this main meat muscle because this is where they make the money. That's why it's called the money muscle, right? So they'll get pretty aggressive behind it and around it and really kind of like focus and centralize on that. We're just doing pulled pork in the backyard, so we're just gonna take off a little bit of that. And any again, anything that's gonna kind of crisp up, right? So cleaner like that. All right, then we're gonna again run our finger back up in here. You see that silver skin that's up in there. We'll just cut that right out there. I'm gonna turn this so you can see all this just randomness here, right? And again, that's gonna be different on each cut. Like you're gonna find different things that. Good and bad. Clean that out a little bit. See, there's just a lot of little loose stuff. We're gonna get rid of that. It's a terrible reference for a food video, but if you pick at it like a scab, it'll you'll find your spots. Okay. Again, if we were competition cooking, we might clean it up a little bit more, but that's about where we're gonna stop on that one. Okay, then when we flip it over, a little bit of work we're going to do back here not a lot okay uh, again backyard cooking so we're going to obviously get rid of this guy that was somehow wrapped around it <laughs> that's funny okay then we're gonna flip her and we're just gonna shave this down just a little bit I mean it's pretty thick here you can see like See how thick that is right there? We just want to slide that sliver down just a little bit just to help get to our meat a little quicker. There's also a little guy right through here that we'll take off. Okay, so we're just gonna do carefully shave off some of that. Knife, nice and flat, not getting to the meat, that's a mistake. Okay, but right above the meat. So. And something I like to do is kind of square or kind of corner, make that corner not so sharp. Again, not a huge deal. In a backyard cook. All right. So there we are. We've got her cleaned up. She's ready to go for our binder and rub.